Hey guys, it's Rashid here. In this video, I am going to show you how you can able to transfer money from your State Bank website to another one account. First of all, log in to your State Bank of India account. After successful login, you can able to see the account summary page. Uh, the same process can be applied for any State Bank group website. It can be State Bank of Mysore, State Bank of Hyderabad, or any State Bank of Trivangor or any account. So in this video, I am I'm showing you uh, the same process using State Bank of Trivangor account. Now to transfer money from your account to someone's account, you need to add that per, the concerned person account to your uh, your banking account. So it it's called profile. So you need to add some someone's account as a profile to your bank account. So in order to proceed through, you need to click uh, on the payment or transfer tab. Here you can be able to see fund transfer between your own accounts. If you have your own account between some other branches, you can click this option. But but the same thing can be done on third party transfer and interbank transfer. So the third party transfer is nothing but if you if one of the one of your friend is having the account in your same branch, then it is called third party transfer. The accounts within the same branch. Or if you have an account with uh, some other branch like Axis Bank or ICICI Bank, you can able to transfer money from money be between banks. This option is called interbank transfer. So this is uh, money between the same branch. The interbank transfer is between the banks. So click on third party transfer. So you, you can able to see some of the accounts listed below and here you can able to transfer up to 50 lakh amount per day through online. Below it, it is asking the amount and the remarks. So if I enter the amount and choose some account from below then I can able to transfer the money to that particular account. So in order to show the show the account which you are going to transfer below you need to add their profile to your account. Click on profile tab. Here you can able to see manage beneficiary. So you can add some beneficiary account here. It will ask you the profile password. You need to enter the profile password. For State Bank Group website, the profile password is considered to be the transaction password. It should be kept most secure. Uh, the profile password and the banking law lo bank login password are entirely different. So don't confuse that. So the profile password is given at the time when you are opening your internet banking account which means the bank will provide you the transaction password as profile password and also the login password here you can able to see the three options third party transfer interbank transfer and state bank group beneficiary transfer as the name itself you can able to understand what they are that third party means transferring money between the same branch interbank means between branches click on the bank so you need to enter the name of the person who are holding the account. Right now I am going to uh, add my Axis Bank account to the State Bank account. So entering my name and entering my bank account number. So these, uh, the name and account number should be uh, the most accurate one. But the address, the below details like address is not at all need to be the most perfect one. You can enter the optional address but don't enter any comma or any special character in between the entries. After entering the address 1, address 2 and address 3 fields, you can set the limit, maximum limit of the account to transfer the amount. So right now for my account I am entering 50,000 as the maximum limit. You can able to change the limit later. Uh, in order to add any account to your profile there are two options one is I by entering the IFSC code or second one is by choosing the location first of all let's be a try with location I'm choosing Axis Bank then my state then my branch if my branch is not at all listed here then I can go for IFSC code so for each and every bank there is an IFSC code so in Google if you type the bank branch and uh, bank name and the branch you can able to get the IFSC code for that particular branch 
So copy it. You can able to directly paste the thing here. So I'm pasting it above and I'm entering it manually. After entering it, just click accept and click submit. It will show you no data received from server. So it's an error, but no need to uh, worry about that. It's an server error. But still, the thing which you have added is successfully added to your account. One more thing pending is you need to approve this thing. So after adding this, click on approve. So it will ask you two options. One is approve beneficiary or approve limit. Right now I am approve the beneficiary name. After entering this page, you will receive an SMS immediately through your mobile which has been re registered with the bank account. Enter the password which has been received through the SMS and click approve. That's it. After 16 hours, you will able to see the account which I have added right now into your bank profile. So that's it for the video. Hope you got some information about how to add accounts to your state bank. Thank you.